Scientists say they may have pinned down the evolutionary history of COVID-19. And yes, it has to do with the pangolins. SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, could be a hybrid that descended from different clades of bat and pangolin viruses, according to new research in Science Advances. Writing in a news release, the team says the bat virus rat G13 is the closest genetic relative to SARS-CoV-2, with a 96.3% RNA similarity. However, the bat virus does not have the spike protein parts used by SARS-CoV-2 for infecting humans. Yet another close relative, a clade of SARS-like pangolin virus from China, has receptor-binding domains that closely match the corresponding parts of the novel coronavirus. The bat and pangolin viruses likely recombined to form SARS-CoV-2. Recombining could occur when two similar viruses infect the same cell. When this happens, molecules that made up the distinct viruses are reshuffled into a new pathogen. So there you go. The coronavirus probably is not an escaped lab culture or a rogue bioweapon. If you want to find out more about why the virus was not made in the lab, check out our earlier video. Was COVID-19 an accidentally released biological weapon? Scientists say no. Scientists rebutted the theory that the novel coronavirus originated as an engineered biological weapon, saying, Our analysis clearly show that SARS-CoV-2 is not a laboratory construct or a purposefully manipulated virus. Researchers say the novel coronavirus was not made in a lab after comparing its RNA sequence to SARS, MERS, and other coronaviruses including the HKU-1, which is known to cause mild symptoms in humans. The study is published in Nature Medicine. Citing the authors, Live Science reports the study focuses on the novel coronavirus's spike protein. The protein consists of receptor-binding domains, also known as RBDs, and a cleavage site. The RBD hooks onto an ACE2 receptor on the surface of human cells, then the cleavage site opens the receptor for the virus to enter. The spike protein design is deemed so effective that it could only have resulted from natural selection and not human engineering. When scientists simulated the virus in computer models, they found computers to underrate COVID-19's infectiousness by a significant margin. Study co-author Christian Anderson of Scripps Research was cited as saying, if scientists designed the virus, they would not have chosen the spike protein mutations that seemed ineffective. Additionally, biological weapons were usually created from deadly viruses, but SARS-CoV-2's close relatives are bat and pangolin viruses that are largely innocuous. The virus is speculated to have spread from bats to pangolins to humans. According to the researchers, they are working to determine at what point SARS-CoV-2 developed the cleavage site mutations that increased its infectiousness. Also, tech innovations are trying to fight the virus by large-scale testing of wastewater in urban communities. Here's how one startup thinks tracking your number twos could help fight against the coronavirus. Massachusetts-based Biobot Analytics have launched a pro bono program to test community sewers for COVID-19. According to Popular Mechanics, the virus can live in human waste. Biobot Analytics aim to track and trace COVID-19 by having communities use their devices to collect samples over a 24-hour period. The company will analyze the data collected and use it to report their findings to impacted areas. If it works, the company says on its website that it will give communities a dynamic map of the virus as it spreads to new areas. The pro bono program starts on Monday, March 23rd, with the first testing kits being shipped out then. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.